Dr. Nishan Stovall with EBR Schools is here with us to talk about some of the summer programs going on right now across East Baton Rouge Parish. You know, I always think it's interesting that we don't have school year round, so you have to find a way to put something out there for kids because as you know, Doc, a lot of children in our community only eat when they go to school yes. and they don't have food. So let's talk about some of the programs that are out there right now. Uh, we have several programs going on right now, maybe about 10 to 12 different engagements that students have available to them. Uh, we have our discovery day for students who are in discovery day camp for students who are in transition. We have our summer enrichment camp that is a partnership with several uh, local partners, YMCA, Breck, Boys and Girls Clubs, and um, Big Buddy program. And so we have those going on throughout the day as well. So we have students who may be in remediation. We have students who may have to go to summer school. Mm -hmm. um, all of those programs, of course, have feeding available. So we right. have meal sites as well. Um, we also have stuff for the high school students. So summer internships are available to those students. We also have um, at our CTEC program, we have a plethora of things for them through our Jumpstart summer program. So it's lots of things going on for students from kindergarten all the way up to high school. So what are y'all trying to accomplish with some of these programs? First and foremost, safety. We mm -hmm. want kids to have a safe place to go. You mentioned already that we have the, the meal sites, so they are safe, they are fed, mm -hmm. and we also want to make sure that we target the elimination of learning loss during the summer. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we are keeping their minds energized as well as their bodies. Do you all have trouble getting <clears throat> some of the areas filled? I mean, how, how is the, how is the sign-up process gone? In some cases we do. Sign up is limited. Some of those cancel. We have our partners just based off of their capacity. Mm -hmm. But we've had a lot of students and parents to register for camp. So many of them are full, but there are some that we still have an opportunity to engage with students and families to increase to get to capacity. What is the biggest thing you would say parents should think about during these summer months when kids are not in school? So one of the misconceptions is that students spend more time at school than they do at home, and that's just not true. Right. They actually spend most of their time away from school. And so we want to make sure that during the summer months mm -hmm. that we still keep them engaged with learning. So even if they're not in a summer program, we want to make sure that they're still reading, yeah. that they're still you know, exercising their minds along with their bodies. So not just sitting around, but still engaged. Do you guys engage social media at all to get the word out about uh, some of the programs available? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. On all of our social media platforms, we push out everything that we have going on as well as our website. What about programs that are literacy facing? during the summer? Do you have anything going on uh, f for kids? Because reading is a big part, and yes. like you talked about, keeping kids at level or at least not letting them lose ground is important. Yes, yeah, so all of our summer enrichment camps have a math component as okay. well as a Excellent. literacy component. So the morning half is instruction with academics in a, in a very fun and engaging way. And then in the afternoon, they have the full enrichment. So they'll have the sports camp or those YMCA, Break Big Buddy, Boys and Girls Club partnerships where they will engage with the students along with other partners. But so in addition to that literacy component in the morning, we also have a camp that is dedicated to literacy remediation for students in second and third grade who may have had some shortcomings. And so we want to make sure that we help to prepare them going into the next grade level. I love that. And, and you're, you're now at the, the deadline to sign kids up has passed. Is that it correct? It has passed, yes. So if people want to know about these going forward, where can they get information? They can go to our website, ebrschools.org slash summer. Well, look, I appreciate what y'all are doing, and that's a, that's a big thing for me is keeping these kids occupied so they can hopefully stay out of trouble this summer. Absolutely. We want them to get in some good trouble. Get into some good yes. trouble. Yes. Speaking of learning, I want to tell you about a curriculum that is absolutely fantastic, and the force behind it will be here on set with me next. Stay right there.